literally trying to catch the sun for this. Welcome to my channel today. I'm back with another new video and today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial and today I am going to be following Michelle Kwan's new makeup tutorial video of her everyday makeup look. If you have followed me for a very long time, you would know that I love Michelle Kwan so much and she is the very reason as to why I know how to apply makeup at some degree. She's the reason why I love makeup and also she is the reason as to why I am also doing YouTube because I was completely inspired by her and I am very happy that she's back in YouTube once again. So I'm gonna be following her my dramatic haircut. I chopped off my hair. I chopped off my hair too. Here's the link up here in the i button. She is looking so pretty. So I have all my makeup here beside me and I am going to start off with a lip cushion. My everyday makeup routine. I like to start off with lip cushion to prep and condition my lips so that they're ready for later. So right, so I'm going to start off with a lip cushion. I don't really have a lip cushion. I only have Too Faced Liquid Longwear Lipstick that has a cushion. But I think this is a lip gloss she's wearing. Mm. No, I don't like it. I'm just gonna apply pow pow <laughs> to moisten my my lips. So I've been experimenting a lot with luminizing primers to kind of give my skin some life. So what I'll do is layer a dime size amount on my face. I don't really need that much. And you'll notice how the pearls in this formula helps reflect light, giving my skin that luminous glow. Okay, so she is using a lumin luminizing primer, she said. She doesn't need that much. I have Becca First Light Priming Filter. This one, got this from my birch box. I am using C436 Mini Duo Fiber Blender. She seems to have used a brush to apply her primer. Something I've never done before. I, yeah, she kind of used something like this. I'm gonna use this as well. So dip that in there and she only applied it over here. But that's so weird because it's luminizing around the cheek area. I wonder if she put it on some other areas of her face. Oh, it does make it, my face look so luminous. Since I've gone foundation free for three years, spot treating with concealer is all I really need. Sometimes I'll blend a custom color together like this. Using my cushion sponge and a few taps, I'll blend out the concealer. Wait, hold on. She hasn't been applying foundation for three years. Um, no wonder her skin looks so pretty without makeup. Oh my gosh. I don't have Too Faced concealer. I only have like Too Faced foundation. So I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Eraser Concealer. Um, this is my favorite, favorite concealer. This has done the job for me. Um, what did she do? Did she apply it in I her face? I focus on areas that tend to either be darker or sponge. And a few taps. I'll blend out the concealer. Oh, so what she did was she applied the concealer onto her sponge. So I have a sponge right here anyway, so I'll just do the same thing as she did <laughs> and then probably use my blender. So a few taps, she said. I'm gonna add a little bit of around this part of my face because I do have some discoloration around here. <laughs> And she said she spot correct. I have a lot of spots, so I don't know how to spot correct to be honest. Oh, I love how glowing my skin is. I think that's that's it. I remember when I was really getting into makeup, I really wanted that super airbrush skin look. But lately, I've actually been embracing my natural skin texture. I've never been blessed with thick brows. I kind of have to work with what I got. So what I like to do is mattify this area first so that when I apply product on them, it reduces that reflective shine. Okay, so I am going to look for a brush, a powder brush. I'm using Blank Canvas Cosmetic F34 powder brush and I'm using Revolution banana powder and she said she likes to mattify this area of her face first. I feel like the sun is coming out now. I think it's matted. Using here micro fluff and brunette. I prefer using products that have more of a multi-use purpose so what I do is I use the tiny spoolie to not only shape the brow hairs in place but it helps lay down color first to save me some time. And I'll go back a few times like this sculpting the brow hairs in place before the product dries down. Oh no! I don't have any of that. I threw away my L'Oreal or my Rimmel one last night. I think I'm just gonna have to try and use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. The applicator doesn't have a spoolie, but it's uh, like like this. 
so I'll probably just use this and then use a spoolie. Ow, the sun is literally coming out. I don't know how she managed to keep her eyes open while the sun is like... Fortunately, I have none of those anymore. I threw it away because it is already expired. I've had it for like three years, so I had to throw it away. She is just following her natural brow shape, so I'm going to do the same thing. This side, I'm not blessed with thick brows as well, so brush it. And then brush it upwards. Is that... Oh, I'm gonna add more here because the other eyebrow is darker. Ugh, it's a bit too dark. Let me save it with tissues. So microfluff gets me there 70%, but fine liner brow pencil gets me to the finish line. Ooh, fine I actually line. prefer using light taupe and brunette color, which has a little brown in it to help warm up my face. And you can see these pencils are oval tipped. So you can use the flat edge to create precise micro strokes. Oh, I kind of have one of those. Oh, this one is out again. I'm gonna try and keep my eyes open just like Michelle. Um, so I have the brows ultra slim from Maybelline. This is the one I have. Very thin tip and it has a spoolie at the bottom. So you can use the flat edge to create precise micro strokes. So she's creating micro strokes, but I need to close the window because I really cannot open my eyes. And she said to create micro strokes. I feel like my eyebrows is just way too black. I think that's okay. Using M Slip Cloud and Feta Clementine, instead of going on my lips, I'm actually gonna apply this product on my eyes because it has a similar texture to a cream shadow. So Feta Clementine, and she applied that with the ring finger onto her eyelids. And she's tapping that. Okay. Before the product dries, I'll use a fluffy brush to diffuse the color more. And this is going to act as my base color. I have a peachy kinda from Sunny's uh, for your lips. It's not clementine, but it's peach. And it says kinda. So it's kind of like faded as well. So peachy kinda from Sunny's. And this is the color. And she used her ring finger to apply that. Center of her eyelids. And then she faded that out that's actually quite nice she likes to use a blending brush to kind of diffuse it out she said I am diffusing it out now nice and not on my lips but on my eyes I'm using this deep brown as a base for my eyeliner and what I wanted to do is to create a soft shadow so she's using a brown lip crayon. I do have lip liner that is brown. And I have it in the shade Brown Sugar from Kylie Cosmetics. Pretty much close to a crayon, right? So. I have here Divine. Her one is pretty obvious. Mine isn't obvious at all. I have here Divine Skies, which is finally back in stock. Oh, love that. I want it. Using this matte peach called Sunset. Matte peach, Sunset. I'm gonna use this on the inner corner of my eyes instead of my normal shimmer routine. Right, so she used that into the inner corners of her eyes. I don't have the eyeshadow either, but I do have my Too Faced Peach palette and I do have Candid Peach color right there. So I'm gonna use that. It looks kind of similar. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna apply that into the inner according to her. Oh yeah, I'm using Blank Canvas E04 as my brush. And she's applying it onto the inner parts of her eyelids. And that. With M's brush tip liner in brown, I'm gonna line very closely to my lash line. Because I don't have a lot of eyelid real estate, I look better with super thin eyeliner. Notice how the diffused brown liner underneath helps soften the sharp liquid liner. So she's lining her eyes now. So I'm gonna use Kat Von D, the brown liner, and it is also a pen tip. I used to obsess having both eyeliners looking exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Now that I know that I have two different eye shapes, my eyeliner complements each eye instead. Okay, so very thin eyeliner. Michelle Fan starts in the middle and she kind of drags it outwards thinly and then connects the liner like that as well. This is my bigger eyelid, so I'm gonna add more line to it. Right, 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 right. Whew, 
I'm tired. No, no. Using Ems Lip Cloud and Radiant Dawn, a bright rose color. Bright I'm rose adding color. this on my lower lash line for brightness. I don't have pink. Pinkiest color is the matte lipstick called Whipped Caviar by NYX. So this is the pinkiest color I have. So maybe that will work. I'm gonna use my Cabin Canvas Cosmetic E07. I remember when I was young and I used to live in Philippines, my mom only used lipstick as my eyeshadow, my blush, and my lip color. That's basically all she did. That's all she used. I actually love the pink. My favorite, Heaven's Glow and Faded Clementine. This formula works both as a highlighter and blush, and it gives the most skin-like finish. What? I don't have that! I'm gonna work the- But I'm looking at it, it looks like a highlighter to me. The only thing that I have that looks like a blush and a highlighter is this Fenty, this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Hustler Baby. But this is the color right here. It looks kind of the same as Michelle Fonts one. Ooh, this is gonna be something different. I've never used a highlighter as a blusher before. Love this highlighter, but I very rarely use it because it's not light enough for my liking. I'm gonna work this on my cheeks and bring the color up to my eyes. To her eyes. And whatever's left over on the brush goes around my forehead and chin. Okay. Did this to her other cheek. And then she did that. Whatever's left, she applied it on her forehead and her chin and her nose. I'm looking at it in the mirror. I don't know if I would be comfortable to go outside with a very shiny cheek. But this is what it looks like, guys. I'm gonna finish off with True Gloss and Magic Hour. What I love about this formula is that it has special peptides with vitamin C and E that help smooth out fine lines on my lips. I have lip gloss. It's a dewy full lips conditioning she butter and it is in the shade of Let's Do This 020 from Catrice. This is what it looks like. What does it have? That's just a conditioning dewy lip color. So I like to use Heavenly from Divine Skies as a highlighter on my nose. So she used highlighter. I'm just gonna use the highlighter from Carnival Palette. It's Saint. It has kind of like a pinkish color. I don't understand why people like to use highlighter in the tip of their nose. And then she likes to put it here. Oops, I almost forgot mascara. Oops, I nearly almost forgot my mascara too. <laughs> All done. I'm not done yet, Michelle. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Lash curler that I'm using is from Pennies. And then I'm going to use this favorite. I'm gonna apply this onto my lashes. So this is how it looks for me. There's no I really do enjoy following Michelle Fon's makeup tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. And do make sure to subscribe and click that bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you like videos like this, just like this video. So, hope to see you in my next one.